All right, so this is right where Uber dropped me off here. So I'm here at AccuTune Off-Road. They've had my truck for a few weeks. I just let them take it after uh, Off-Road Expo. They were super busy, so I was like thinking, you know, how can I squeeze myself in here under their busy schedule? So I said, hey, what if you guys just take my truck and then like maybe you'll have some time? And my plan worked. So they've had it for a few weeks. I just got back from Off-Road Expo East yesterday. I took the day off so I could come here, talk to the guys and kind of see where we're at with the truck. Um, so the, the reason why I want to do this video and I may just throw this up on YouTube as my first video was because I've been talking to the guys at Ryan specifically, but the team here at AccuTune on kind of shop tuning when I was mid travel and then I went long travel. And the thing that he's always been telling me is, you know, people can't really see what they do. It's kind of internal magic. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to let you guys in on my experience and how everything's been. So I actually purchased my rear shocks from them um, right before Expo West and they were super accommodating and they actually valved and tuned the shocks kind of based on the weight of the camper on the truck and kind of like what I was looking for out of the truck knowing that we were going to retune and revalve when we could. So it's been about six months or so, maybe less, and I've driven the truck, I've taken it off road and I've tuned it to the best of my ability, which is literally garbage tune. That's basically me cranking every single bypass uh, knob, compression and rebound as firm as they can go and using them as bump stops and kind of just dealing with it. So the Camber Long Travel Kit's been rad, but it's at its limit right now as far as how I'm driving. And I don't drive that way all the time, but I do want to just be able to plow it into stuff and I do need it to drive well on the road. So we're here at AccuTune. I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you guys kind of the internal magic they do. I'm super stoked because I haven't seen my truck in three weeks. I haven't driven it. So I'm kind of seeing it excited to see where we're at with it and kind of how much better it is but I also wanted to give you guys an opportunity and use this as an opportunity to kind of show you the internal magic that AccuTune does on their trucks whether it's a crawler you know desert pre-runner or just a mid-travel daily driver so let's go inside and check it out <laughs> Hey, this is Ryan from AccuTune Off-Road, and today we're out in the shop. we got Tyler here working on some shocks for the front of a new Tacoma. Uh, basically, this customer's in Hawaii, and they called us, and they're looking for a coilover and bypass setup on the front end with a plus two kit. And so we figured out what modifications they've got done to their vehicle, how much more it weighs, and what type of terrain they're hitting with their vehicle. And if they're just looking for, um, in this case, a more comfortable ride on rough roads, and so we entered all their information to our calculator and figured out what valving we need to put inside of their shocks to get the performance we're looking for. And then we sent the order out here and Tyler's got the shocks apart and he's changing all the shims out inside so that the shocks ride just the way the customer wants them to when they install them on their truck. All right, so here we've got Jason's truck. And so basically he had a pretty soft tune from the factory on here, but he's interested in running whoops and running higher speeds and not bottoming out. So we, we set them up with our uh, HD street tune, which is made for, you know, like 40% street, 60% off-road uh, in this case. And so we're able to, to stiffen things up so he's not bottoming out. He can kind of stay up on top of the, the whoops. And then we, we set that up with the adjusters all the way open so that if he wants to run even harder, he can close those adjusters up and uh, hit even more. All right, well, there you have it. Officially the first YouTube upload. I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for quite some time, but I've just never had the time. That's a huge excuse that a lot of people say. I've had the time. I just never had the actual drive enough to make it happen. So, as you can tell, this video was super short. It wasn't very granular. We didn't dive into too much exactly what we did, but it was really just an intro and a really short opportunity for me to like make a video, get it out, and then push me to make the other video. So this is gonna be a series that I do with AccuTune on my truck specifically, explaining what we're trying to achieve, how we're achieving it, and actually showing you guys what the truck's doing and if it works. It's really just to add value, help you guys understand, you know, help, help AccuTune explain and give them a platform to explain that internal magic, like I said before, that's inside. So that's why it wasn't super crazy. That's why there wasn't any, you know, videos or clips of the truck getting all crazy. It's because we simply haven't had enough time to do it, but I also just wanted to make it short enough to actually execute on getting the video out. Cause then once I start, then it can start rolling. So I appreciate you guys watching obviously. 
And if you guys want to be a part of this channel, help me grow it, whatever, I'm not sure what it's going to be. My hopes are it's going to be, you know, just a way for me to get some videos out and it's going to be pretty eclectic. I don't know how high the production value is or how low it is. You know, it could be some stuff shot on iPhone. It's really just an experiment at this point. And I think that's kind of how anybody starts doing anything is to kind of really have an idea. And as soon as you get it out there, that's kind of when it takes form. So like I said, never done this before. Just wanted to take a little bit of a, a diversion from Instagram and social media and kind of just get some videos out there and really kind of do the same thing I do on my stories on Instagram, but actually have some some thought behind it and not just be one take like one shot let's fuck it we're doing it live which is cool i like that vibe because it's just there's no real eraser pin there um but here we go so here's my youtube channel first video it's going to be a series i'm going to obviously be doing more videos not just tacoma videos i'm going to be doing all kinds of stuff we'll just kind of see what flows and you know let's just let's, let's vibe you know let's just like Let's make it happen. So here you go. So if you like this video or you're interested in future videos, subscribe, like it, do all the things that I should be saying. I'll figure it out. I'll start popping buttons and telling you what to do, but there you go. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to see the next video.